guys, it's Vandy Ezzel, back at it with another Card Fight Vanguard deck profile. So hope you guys enjoy, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and donate to the Patreon. So let's get started. This time, it's my Aqua Force Blue Wave deck. So this is mainly that mainly focused on Valios. There's Revan mixed in, there is a grade 3 that some people use, some people don't. It is one of my friend's most hated cards, so I shoved it in one to spite him, but two, it also makes sense. So, let's get this started. I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and join the Patreon. Now let's get started. First up, the starter is Blue Wave Recruit, Coasty. 6k base, 10k shield. Auto, when road upon, you get to draw a card, and then if your opponent's vanguards are grade 1 or greater, you get a quick shield ticket. So, it's basically the standard starter ability. You get a draw out of it, you get a quick shield ticket. It is the good of both worlds, because the quick shield can possibly give you a shield mostly you just discard it but the draw that's normally a top deck for me why the draw always has to be the top deck for me i don't know anymore but it can come in useful so 6k base tank hit shield and he's also a blue wave who does a blue wave so this is a blue wave deck might as well make it him next up we got four draw pgs so emerald Chill pascal uh he's basically the draw pg where you get a draw and he's also a pg out of it so he is a sentinel though so you can only run four of them but that's still useful, because who doesn't like draws, who doesn't like PGs, you shove them together, you got the best of both worlds. And on to the other triggers. We run 8 fronts, 4 Dolphin Soldier of High Speed Rates, and 4 Enemy Seeking Seagull Soldier. So, some people are wearing Rainbow, some run 6 crit, 6 front. I, well one, I like to draw PG, so this is actually the deck I will advocate for it. But also, I don't think the crit is very important in this deck. I also don't think the front is very important. But 6 front and 2 crit seems kind of like a weird lineup to me. Well, um, give me a second. And it's just that the 8 crit would be way too overkill. Because no one wants 8 crits. It's, especially in an Excel deck, that's way too much. So I say like 8 front works the best in this deck. And then our heal being active, Draco Kid. On to grade ones. Four copies of Blue Wave Shield, Yorgos. So his skill is 7k base, 10k shield. That's not skill, that's just his stats. 7k base, 10k shield. Auto rear guard when your vanguard is attacked. If you have four more rested rear guards, you may move this unit to the guardian circle. So you know, it's an interceptor from the back row. Well, it's not technically an interceptor, but he can still technically intercept. And most of the time, you are going to have four more rest rear guards. The only reason why you wouldn't is if your opponent nuked your board. But even then, that's not necessarily a problem, because only Kagro, Narakami, and very select other clans do that, and they don't even do it that much if they're not one of those two. So, very helpful card, four copies. Next up, four copies of Blue Wave Soldier Senior, Baragios. 8k base, 10k shield. Continuous Vanguard or Rear Guard. During your turn, if you have four more rested Rear Guards, it gets plus 5k power. So that's a 13k attacker slash booster, which is always appreciated in decks. And then his other skill, auto vanguard or rear guard, when placed, look at top five, reveal up to one grade three from among them, put it into your hand and shuffle your deck. And if you put a card, you gotta discard one. So that's mainly where you discard the quick shield for, but it can also search your grade three. Sometimes you need the Valios. Very few times you might need Revan. And sometimes you need Riptide, the grade three I placed in here to smite a friend, but also because it makes sense. So sometimes you can need any of those three and he can be the one to search it for you. So four copies. I also just like his art. And finally, four copies of Blue Wave Soldier Senior Corvette. Is he a car? Underwater? Because if so, why does he have a sword that kind of looks like Pascal's shield and also have a water chain and is also blue? But anyways, AK base, 10k shield, a continuous rear guard circle. During your turn, if you have a Vanguard, Blue Wave, and its card name gets plus 5k power. So that's really good. But at the same time, that means you cannot be on Revan or Riptide. You have to be on Valley Else. But, I mean, you most likely will be on Valios unless you're trying to do a very certain play, which you could if you want, but most of the time you want to be on Valios. And then Auto Vanguard or Rear Guard, when it attacks or the attack it boosts, it hits a van, look at top three, put, reveal it to one blue wave from among them, put it into your hand, and send the rest to bottom. And you don't have to discard. So that's really helpful. Most of this deck is blue wave. Everything in the main deck except for the two grade threes that aren't Valios are blue waves. So you get a guaranteed search unless you see either those two or a or just triggers in general so really help a card uh four copies because who doesn't like extra searching power and just power in general three copies of blue wave marine general foivis 9k base 5k shield 
Auto rear guard circle. When placed, if your vanguard is last card, Revan. As in, you can only use this skill if your vanguard is Revan. Soul Blast 1 and rest it, and look at the top card and call it to rear. And then auto rear guard circle once per turn when your grade 3 vanguard attacks. If your opponent's vanguard's current power is different from its original power, discard a card and stand this unit. So, it's helpful. If you're on Revan, you get the ability to call something, and since Revan's skill focuses on having multiple breast rear guards, that is also helpful. But if you're on Valios, this is even better, because you still get the minus power, and you get two attacks out of four of us, except for instead of one. So, you know, really helpful card. Three copies. You don't necessarily want to call them. It depends on how you want to do it. If you want to ride Revan, you can call this thing. If you don't want to ride Revan and call this thing, it's fine. So it's up to you. Three copies. Four copies of Blue Wave Marine General Gallius. Another card that I like the arts of. I genuinely like the card, card arts of most of these things, honestly. So 9k base, 5k shield. Continuous Vanguard or Rear Guard. During your turn, if you have four more rested Rear Guards, this unit gets plus 5k power. So it's a 14k base as well. It has the same skills as Barugios. And also, auto rear guard circle once per turn. When your grade 3 vanguard attacks, if your opponent's vanguard's current power is different from its original, counter blast 1 and stand in this unit. So that's very helpful. You can minus it. It just says different. It doesn't have to be less than. So if they pull the trigger, all your plans don't get screwed over. I mean, the hitting gets screwed over to some form and extent, but it doesn't screw over their abilities going off. So you get more attacks out of it, and all around, which is really helpful. So four copies. And the last grade 2. Four copies of Blue Wave Marine General Galliot. Kind of seems like he's trying to take this guy's name over here. And his position. But anyways, 9k base, 5k shield. Auto Vanguard or Rear Guard. When it attacks, Counter Blast 1 and stand one of your Rear Guards with Blue Wave in their card name. So, that's really helpful. If it's an on-Vanguard skill, it's kind of like Algos from the Trial Deck, except you don't have to Soul Blast for it. So... It's a plus off it because you can restand literally anything in this deck. So if you have to ride this, it's not worst case scenario. And auto rear guard once per turn at the end of the battle, the attack. If your opponent's vanguard's a grade, if the opponent's vanguard's current power is different from its original. Soul blast one, choose one of your other rear guards in the same column as it in exchange positions. It does not have to be a blue wave, which is why Riptide is in this deck because it can plus off of this. But also, that is honest. This is honestly the reason why it is the main grade two, as in the thing you ride. You want to ride this because the other grade twos. Okay, your skill is continuous on either, but you mainly want to ride this because it's going to get you multi-attack at grade 2 turn. So, ride this if you can. You don't have to. If you want to save it for something else, you can. I would suggest if you have to ride any of these, Fuevis or this thing, because you don't want to raise the Gallius. But either way, still helpful, and he only costs a soul boss to do his other skills. So, four copies. On to grade 3s. Two copies of Riptide Dragon! 12k base, continuous rear guard circle. This unit can only attack during the fourth battle of the turn or more. So, you know, the first three can't do crap, but unless they kill it beforehand, that's not really your problem. And then auto rear guard circle. When it attacks, this unit gets plus 20k power until end of that battle. So that is all around a very helpful thing because that's a 32k hitter right there, so that's an automatically a 20k guard. But at the same time... You can multi-attack with this by calling this behind this. You attack with this first, you soul blast, you swap them, and then you get more attacks out of it, etc. And it's really fun to shove this into a deck where not many people, for some reason, not many people expect a Riptide to come out of nowhere. So, you know, when you bring out a giant beat stick with a, 20, with a 32k base on attack, really helpful. In other decks, it has been the death of my opponents. In this deck, maybe not, but my point still stands. And then four copies of Last Card Revan. Technically, the highest rarity in this deck. You would normally think that the higher the rarity, the more chance it has of being the main grade three. Yeah, that's not the case here, because Revan's the VR. And if I'm correct, yeah, Valus is only triple rare, so, you know. Uh, skill of Revan, though. 12k base uh, does have an Excel gift, unfortunately, unlike... Riptide and Valios, which sucks. Uh, act Vanguard Circle. One placed Counter Blast. One wrong card. I forgot to get rid of its skill. Well, it's fine. We can deal with that later. Um, ignore the skill on the side here. Uh, here's his actual skill. Act Vanguard once per turn. Rest one of your rear guards, and your opponent Vanguard loses five k power till end of turn. So you know, bringing them down to from like a thirteen to an eight, or a twelve to a seven, or if they're a grade two. 10 or 9 to 5 or 4, which is always helpful and appreciative. 
and it just makes it harder for your opponent to guard, and it gets off abilities such as this, and this, and this. Nope, only those three, but my point still stands. Um, and there's other skill. When it attacks, if you have a five, if you have five or more rested rear guards, uh, until end of turn, this unit gets plus 15k power, plus one drive, and if you have a grade three in your soul, plus one crit. So that's really helpful. It can guaranteedly, it's going to be 27 with triple drive and possibly with an extra crit. So, you know, it has a force two on it to some form of an extent. It has a force one on it. And let's just call it a force three, which gives you an extra drive. I'm not even sure if they will ever make a force three. But if they do, I hope it does that, even though it would be kind of pointless. But still very helpful. So, four copies of it. Because it gets you an Excel gift. It's the only thing with an Excel gift. Not like you need them, but it would still be appreciative. And it can also minus power. And finally, the big boy himself. The one that we've all been waiting for. The Blue Wave Marshal, Valios. 12k base, no gift, no shield, because that's expected to have a grade 3. Really cool looking art. It makes you really remember the time, I think this is the time as he got, after he got scarred, or either slightly beforehand, but still a really cool looking art. You can really see the anger in his eyes, and the rage, and the storm brewing around him. But anyway, skill, act Vanguard Circle. Once per turn, I would like to say, this is the only card I know that all of his abilities, more than just one ability in total, having all being once per turn. There might be other cards, but this is the only one I know. Uh, so act once per turn, Vanguard Circle. Counter Blast 1 and Soul Blast 1. Choose one of your opponent's Vanguards until end of turn. It gets a minus 5k power, and if your opponent's Vanguards are greater through or greater, it cannot increase, unless by, it cannot increase or decrease unless by the shield or the effect of your guardians. So, oh no, it can't increase or decrease by this effect or guardian's shield. So never mind. You That's actually really good because other wordings are different to where they can increase by the guardian's effect. No, it can't increase at all, which means they're stuck at that 7k base. That's really good. <laughs> God, I just learned something important and that's actually good. Okay, never mind then. <laughs> but then his other skills... Uh, discard a card from your hand. I'm not going to bother saying once per turn, but also an act. Discard a card from your hand with the same name as it to ultimate stood I do. Ow, I hurt my hand. Uh, remove all your markers from your circle and call up to five cards from your drop zone to rear. You do not have to have Excel gifts to do this. You can go first turn, ride this, discard a Valios, and you don't have to have Excel gifts to do it. You can just get a free card call five which is honestly helpful. You get multiple things out onto the board. Say like you're, or like this is a late game. This is an Excel deck. Most people will punish you for calling rear guards. Let's just say it's Kagro. They burn the ever living shit out of your field. And you got nothing left but this on the Vanguard and a copy of it in hand. You go stand and draw, discard a copy and call five. So you can refill your board, which would literally be everything at that point. So really helpful. And finally, it's last skill, the only auto on it, and a vanguard skill. At the end of the battle that your unit attacked, choose two of your rear guards, and you may exchange their positions. So you know, yes, all these are once per turn, so it's kind of bad that you can't call more, like, say you fucked up on the second skill, or like you can't minus more, but then again, that'd be kind of broken. And you can only exchange once, but at the same time, that would also be kind of broken. And you also have this thing that can exchange, so technically it's not that bad. And all of your things that can restand. So, all around, he's really helpful. He's everything I could have asked for in a grade 3 and from Aqua Force. He minuses power, which is good. He gets you calls, which is amazing. And finally, he just can give you a one more attack, which can honestly turn into two. Because it gives you more rested units, so you don't have to waste rear guards with the grade 1s. My only problem ever with being with grade 1s is that you kind of have to call him the rear guard to boost... Now you don't have to. You can call a full field of grade twos and possibly plus off it. So you know, really helpful. Four copies. And gift-wise, you will never need more than this. Because there's only one card in this deck with a gift, and it has that four copies. So you will never need more than this. If you want to build this deck to the exact way it is, just so you can save money, build it this way. It will save you money, because you do not need more than four gifts. So anyways, Excel 1, when placed, you do not get anything from it, but you do get another rear guard circle in the front row, and you get plus 10k during your turn for that circle. So, really helpful. It can give your, like, grade 1s or your riptide or something that needs power able to hit, 
and the Excel 2, you get half the power, but you get to draw when you activate it. So basically with Revan, I think you should pick Excel 2 more. I mean, because the second you use Valios, it's most likely just going to go away. So you can just use the Excel 2, draw, and then get plays off. In my personal opinion, here's what I suggest you do. For your first turn grade 3, you might want to ride Revan just so you can, you know, get an Excel gift out of it and take the multi-attack rush that turn. But then afterwards, go into Valios because the gift won't really matter at that point. Then get rid of the gift, call your board down, what minus their power, and get the multi-attack in. So each turn you're getting some multi-attack. That's what I suggest you do, but you can do whatever you want. And on to the quick show, which you all know what it does. When one of your units is attacked, it gets plus 5k power done to battle. Why it doesn't actually have a shield instead of power, I will never understand. But that's how the world works, even if it's stupid, in my personal opinion. Well, that was the deck. I hope you guys enjoyed. My deck is probably a mixture of everything you've kind of seen so far, or maybe not. A lot of builds run Coral Assault. <laughs> I don't. Reason why? Not a blue wave. That's not a good reason enough for you? Well, that's a good enough reason enough for me, because if you know me personally, it's not an archetype card, so it doesn't belong in this deck. Unless there was space, but there was no space for it. Except for technically the Riptide, but I like Riptide. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and join to the Patreon. I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to stand up your vanguard. Also, just real quick note, um... Read Valios' text, how it just says, I'll annihilate the world to save it. This is my way. Yes, you know, do kill everyone and you'll save everyone. Because that definitely makes sense. It doesn't kind of sound like genocide to some form of an extent. Okay, now we're done. So, see you on the next one. Don't forget to stand up your vanguard. <laughs>